104.5, the team. We are uh, here on Radio Row, San Francisco Super Bowl 50. Uh, now, this is, uh, it's funny, I was just i was just telling this gentleman that he was the first ever Hall of Famer I interviewed. He was the first ever Raider that I interviewed. It's uh, Mike Haynes, cornerback, uh, like I said, Hall of Famer, champion, you name it, Los Angeles Raider. Uh, pleasure to see you. Now, when you, I know that you, you're no stranger to Radio Row, you're no stranger to the big game. Super Bowl 50, how does it compare to the other Super Bowls? Well, um, it looks like they need to have a little uh, better place for you guys to take a break in here. I, I can't <laughs> figure out. Where, is there any space for that? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's about two floors up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is just getting you know bigger and bigger. This whole facility, and uh, um, the more and more people are coming, more and more radio stations, TV stations. I mean, you know, serious. I mean, they have a little, their own little corner over here with yeah. all so many stations that they have now trying to get interviews of guys. It's, it's great, though. I love, you know, it's a one time of the year where all the folks that follow our sport are all under one roof and getting interviews and talking football. So you spent time with the Los Angeles Raiders. The NFL back in Los Angeles now with the Rams. Are you happy to see football back in L.A.? I, I think L.A. deserved a team many, many years ago. To wait this long is kind of crazy. Um, I grew up with the Rams as, as the team I watched as a kid growing up. All we had to do was wear our Cub Scout uniform, and they, they let us in for free. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, the, well, the stadium was, uh, you know, we played in the Coliseum, uh, like 103, 106,000 uh, people. It's hardly ever full and for a regular season game, so it's always playing a room, especially at the top of the stadium. So, yes, I'm glad to have football back in L.A. Now, conversely, the Oakland Raiders, it doesn't seem like they know where they're going to play. Where would you like to see the Raiders back or, or at? Well, I, I think uh, the Raiders want to be in Oakland. Right. They want to be in Oakland. Mark Davis wants to, to be in Oakland. Personally, I just want to stay in California. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. You know, uh, Oakland, is if, if that's where he wants to be, then I hope he gets that. But if, he's, if they don't give him that, doesn't have that luxury to stay in Oakland, I hope that they come to L.A. I think it would be great for uh, Angelinos to have two teams there, and there are tons of Raider fans in this state, and especially down in the Los Angeles area. Pro Football Hall of Famer Mike Haynes, former Raider. Now, one of the rumored locations was Las Vegas. Do you think there'll ever be a franchise in Vegas? I don't think so. And uh, if it is, it definitely wouldn't be the Raiders, I wouldn't think. You know? <laughs> but they're the perfect one, the outlaws. It, yeah, but, you know, it's just, you're just asking for trouble, you know. And uh, and I, I just don't think the, the NFL would want to have a team there. I think they... They, they, I think they could consider doing different things there. Uh, like, it would be cool to have the Pro Bowl there or something like that. But to have a team there and uh, constant interaction with known gamblers and things like that, I don't think the league wants to be subjected to that. You're a Hall of Famer. Are you pulling for future Hall of Famer Peyton Manning in this Super Bowl? Can he get it done? Well, I always root for the AFC. Okay. So, uh, you know, I have never rooted for the NFC, except for one year when – the uh, New Orleans Saints were in it after Hurricane Katrina. Right, right, I just story. thought that the people in the community needed something to pull, uh, you know, help help pull their city together, and uh, and the Saints were had a chance to do that. So yeah, I'm I'm pulling for uh, Peyton Manning. I I actually thought the best team in the AFC was the Patriots. I was I I predicted that the Carolina Panthers would play the Patriots in the Super Bowl. So I was surprised that Broncos beat them. I really was, and the way they beat them was even more surprising. Uh, the defense did it, and so. If they're good enough to beat the Patriots, I think they're good enough to beat Carolina. So do I think that the Carolina Panthers have an advantage? I do. But I, th I thought the Patriots did too. Mike Haynes joins us. Uh, man, Pro Bowler, Hall of Famer, Super Bowl champion, Raider, which is probably the greatest title you can give anyone, in my opinion, <laughs> as a fan. Um, when you look at Cam Newton, he gets uh, so much attention, and some of it negative, because he dabs, he does the Superman, he 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 lets you know how great he is. How, what are your feelings on that? I love watching him because you can clearly see he's enjoying himself. He enjoys playing the game. He's not afraid to let his emotions show for people to see it. Uh, you know, my, I have a 12-year-old son that just mimics Cam Newton all the time and always kissing his arm and <laughs> doing a little dance and everything. Uh, I, you know, and I think football likes it. I think, you know, my kid's a millennial, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's tough for guys in my age group to say this is really cool. Um, but I like to see the, the impact that it's having on young people. So we were talking all last week about the Pro Bowl, why no one wanted to play in it. What can we do to fix the Pro Bowl to make people of, of great stature want to go to Hawaii? I'd say move it around, you know, um, put it, have the Pro Bowl in London, have the Pro Bowl in Mexico City, uh, have the Pro Bowl in different places where you're taking the best players 
in, uh, in the pro football and taking them around the world to help grow the game by playing an all-star where you have the best players in the world playing uh, and in front of folks. I think something like that. Now, if you do something like that, we're, you know, Hawaii is probably the most beautiful place on the planet. We can't get the guys to go there. Do you have to increase the purse a little bit to make sure they make that travel? Because we know the NFL wants to brand itself in London and Mexico City and everything. Do you Maybe. have to pay a little more? Maybe. I'm, I'm not going to go that far because, okay. uh, you know, when I, when I came in the NFL, they, they moved the uh, Pro Bowl around to NFL cities. So my first year was like in Tampa. No, it was in Seattle and then Tampa and then L.A. And then they moved it to Hawaii. Uh, and a lot of players who weren't going because it was, you know, they'd make more money doing a speaking engagement and then the prize money uh, that they get for winning the Pro Bowl. Why take a chance of injuring yourself for an extra five grand to win and twenty five hundred if you lost? It doesn't make right, sense. Right. So, you know, you might be onto something, but definitely when they moved it to Hawaii, a lot of the guys wanted to take their families, get out of the cold weather, and, you know, bring their not only their immediate family, their wife and kids, but maybe even their p parents, you know. So it was a, an attractive place, and guys started to come again. But now, maybe you're right. Maybe it's uh, just changing the salary they could, or the, the bonus, I should say, uh, might be enough. But definitely if they moved it out of the city, and it all expense tri paid trip, to London or yeah. to Argentina or Mexico City or um, Dominican Republic or something like that. You know, maybe that would be enough to, to get them to go without having to raise the bonus. But you're definitely going to increase the amount of money that you're spe right, that you pay right. to make all that happen. So you were a secondary player. How do you stop a great wide receiver? And Denver's got two of them and Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders that Panthers have to worry about. How would you do it? Well, um, I think I'd play bump and run. Because uh, that's when it when the game is on the line, I'd rather be up and bump and run than any other position on the field, um, where I'm you know I I'm locked onto this guy and it's it's me or him. That I felt most comfortable in those situations, so I think that's what I would do. Uh, I do a lot of film study. I would definitely analyze Peyton Manning's arm. I'd be watching when the game before the game starts and they're doing their warm up. I'd be watching to see what kind of routes they're running and what kind of zip Peyton Manning is getting on the ball. Um, I just even I look at everything. And so I was watching today while I was in here in the media center. They were showing a little bit of the Broncos, and they were showing Peyton dropping back. And I was watching how fast he was getting. He was dropping back and getting rid of the ball so quickly. So if I could do anything or our defense could do anything to interrupt that, make him pat his hand a couple of times on the ball before he throws it, then I like my chances of, of having a successful day. NFL Hall of Famer Mike Haynes joins us, 104.5 The Team, live on Radio Row. Uh, you are also part of an even greater defense now. Uh, tell me about Know Your Stats. Oh, I'm glad you said that. I love you put that on the, about the defense, too. I've got to <laughs> incorporate that into our, 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 our talk about it. Um, know Your Stats started really with uh, me being diagnosed with prostate cancer, and I actually found out by luck. I was in the, at the Hall of Fame, went to a screening they were having for retired players, and a doctor started asking me if, it, if I knew anything about my prostate history, if it ran in my family. I didn't know any of this stuff. Uh, but he started giving me statistics that one in seven now, it was one in six, men would be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. That sounds like a lot of men. And a, so more men are going to get prostate cancer than women breast cancer. African-American men, it's even higher. It's one in five. And it runs in your family, it's one in three. That was enough information for me to be concerned. When I got back home, I called my primary care doctor, pulled out my chart, looked at it, took the information I had just given him from the screening I was at, uh, and said, Mike, we need to get you a biopsy. And that's the only way you can tell if you have prostate cancer, from a biopsy. And they went in and took tissue samples right off of my prostate. I had cancer in nine of the 12 places that they checked. Whoa. So. Um, uh, because of my own experience, the way I dealt with it myself, and the little bit of history that I knew about my family, uh, when the urology care folks asked me would I be the spokesperson, I said yes, because I knew that I could get men to speak up and talk about it, and especially get other Hall of Famers, Deacon Jones, Ronnie Lott, Michael Irvin, Chris Carter, all these guys look into a camera and encourage men to get out and, and get tested or, or to get out and talk to their doctor or get knowledgeable. And that's what these guys have been doing and helping us. And it's been a, a, you know, a great opportunity to make a difference in the lives of men. And, and actually, believe it or not, even women. Women are the ones a lot of times that encourage their men to get there. The, right. guy, the guys are saying, I'm fine. But if you wait until you have a symptom, it might be too late. You really need to start having that discussion with your doctor a lot earlier. 
And I can get all this information at knowyourstats.org? Knowyourstats.org. Yes, Mike, sir. Mike Haynes, man, thank you so much for your time today. Thank and, you, man. Uh, thanks for, for uh, you know, I watched that game that you won, the Super Bowl with the Raiders, and meant so much to my fandom. Well, I appreciate you, and um, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to talk about this as well.